name is James Needham. I'm an oil painter. I'm currently working in Sydney, um, but I uh, grew up in the UK. And I moved here about 10 years ago and studied at the National Art School in Sydney. And I'm a yeah, realist oil painter. I'm pretty simple with my technical process, I suppose. Um, if I'm painting from someone who's sitting right in front of me, I'll just get um, a bit of Terps thin paint, sketch in the drawing of the person, of their head, body, whatever I'm doing. And from there, just start um, laying it in quite broadly, big shapes, um, all wet and wet paint, not really layering it. Some people will, will be quite technical and layer it, let it dry, layer, layer. I just work wet paint, straight into wet paint, all the way up to a finished picture, basically. If it's a big painting, I might work on a head and get the head completely finished in one, one hit um, and then on to the next. I mean, sometimes like early on in the picture, I'll put in a, a, maybe a broad wash over the whole canvas of, of the big sections, but mainly it's like work up an area to almost finished. Um, and then towards the end, maybe go over the whole thing with a few touches just to bring it all together. But mainly just, yeah, while the paint's wet, get it done. If it doesn't work, scrape it off, start again. My work takes its influence from the world around me. It's quite autobiographical. I'm painting things I've seen, things I've done, people I've met. I painted one a couple of years ago of me sitting on the toilet, which I really liked. <laughs> it was a subject I didn't think I could pull off and it turned out I was, I was really happy with that and it got a good response from people. And to me, it was very real and something that's happening every day, but no one really sort of talks about it. Or maybe in the, in the sort of world of social media we live now, everyone's life is so airbrushed and like this is perfect and that's not really the world I live in. Like a lot of art is like beautiful still lives and things like that. And that's just not a world I really know. Like I see more sinks full of dishes than I do vases full of pretty flowers. So I guess that trying to find something that's actually real and might speak to someone is what it's all about. I think if you can paint something that hasn't necessarily been painted before and find a new way to do something with paint, that's kind of a success, I think. And if you can get people talking about painting, which isn't that interesting to most of the planet, I don't think. There's a very small amount of people who actually look at paintings or care about them. So if you can get something outside of the sort of echo chamber of the art world and get it out there for other people, I think that's a success, I suppose. I've grown up sort of, sort of hero worshipping uh, Lucian Freud a bit. And one of those, but like all his Whippet paintings were all my favourite paintings when I was a kid and I'd sort of always thought if I ever got a dog I'd get a Whippet. And, um, so yeah, took it, took hero worship to the final point I suppose and got myself one. <laughs> Tilly, she's a, she's a Whippet and she's five and I picked her up as a puppy from um, just outside of Sydney. I think I'd be very bored and lonely without having, having a dog around. So. I mean, you can, yeah, you can sort of pick up paints anywhere, but I think having a companion there who can, she's a good critic and like, yeah, gets you, I think it's quite a lonely occupation being a painter. You spend a lot of time just on your own, staring at things, um, getting a bit lost in your own head. So it's quite good to have, have her there and sort of take her out for a walk and get away from it all, yeah. So I have a couple of books that I look at a lot. There's one, a Chinese painter called Lu Xiaotong, Xiaotong, sorry the pronunciation but he's an incredible painter um, I look at his books a lot and I've got a Freud book that's almost falling to pieces because I look at that a lot kind of if I don't know what I'm doing I just have a flick through and it sort of kicks me off um, so yeah like if I can't paint I sort of just paint something that's near me and just gets you working you don't really like you can get caught up thinking of lofty ideas and what you should paint and all this and that and it, you can sort of get paralyzed because it's not maybe intellectual enough or you're not making a big enough statement but sometimes you just start working painting something that's near you and go from there. The pictures I paint are better when they're about my world. There's big issues in the world that I want to make paintings about, make art about, but I haven't found a way to do it yet that sort of doesn't become cliched or sort of hollow. So at the moment I'm yeah, sort of plowing through my own life. I think it's interesting because you um, I don't know, I spend most of my life looking at other people and other things and looking outwards and it does feel a bit weird to have people looking at me. It's not something I naturally enjoy. I'm not big on like self-promotion or like having my face out there. I'm more like to get my work out there and hide a bit behind it. <laughs>